All right. I think I'm ready. Hi, I'm your host, Zeus Pantera. Welcome to Inner Fetish. And these that you can't see are the unique melody Mast. Two, I believe, two. There was a one, now there's a two, right? Is it a two? It, it, it just says mess. They just stopped calling it the two. Anyway, um, sought after review. If this, this doesn't just represent the bone conduction in the IMs, this represents me if I didn't do this goddamn review. So, I'm currently listening to Devil Razors the Unholy, keeping with the theme, apparently, of the evening. And, um, okay. Let's ignore the bone conduction. Let's take them out of my ears. So I've been list. I don't think I've given a new I am this much ear time in a long time because I'm not just because oh I love it I love it it's the greatest thing ever because I need to make sure I do this right because there's a fan base of like tattooed freaks that like messed greatest thing ever what my mother's in danger I gotta go find my mess I can't go help her C gotta find the mests gotta get don't get messed up you gotta get the mests so. Unique Melody Mess is a plus $1,000 bone conducting, electrostatic having, dynamic with it's all, everything. Just everything. What do you, what, everything? Do you got anything else? Toaster oven. It's also an air fryer. Um, not using the stock wire for the very simple reason that here's the thing Unique Melody makes high end IMs. This is a high end IM. And because they make high end IMs, they give you the copper wire, which isn't obviously as good as their silvers. So it comes, it's really nice, except for the fact that it comes with a 2.5. So Chimera cable it is, because I'm not running this set of, and it's actually a little bit stiff. I, I'm sure they make them nicer if you get the higher end cables, but this comes with the copper, so. With that nice end, but it's, it's no, it's no. Case, blue, love it. Separators, says a Dignus. Are you digging this? Di I get it. I get it. Are you digging this? Comes with this strap that the button uh, and leather. This strap that is magnets, but then it's a hinged thing. Comes with a unique melody uh, cloth. Comes with some unique melody standard silicone tips. And then it comes with these, which is what I'm actually using. I'm not using my Deconis. I used my Deconis for a while. It didn't hurt them, so to say. But the Alza... Asla, we were born to love music. Um, Sedna Fit x Lassics, which I can link to these separately if you want to try them on your IMs. I have a set of these, medium, small, large. They're like $27 for the set. And I just have to buy them. They are hyper sticky. And the, the, the little caveat I'm going to give at the beginning of this is tips matter on these a lot. The thing that they do... I. Before we get to the bone conduction, the bone, before we get to the bone of the bone of the big bone, before we get to the bone, let's talk about them like they're a regular IM. Because they kind of are. Like, they're over $1,000. How's the detail, separation, imaging, vocals? Stellar. $1,000 easy, you know, competing with all the other top of the line, top five IMs I've ever listened to. That That's, just get that out of the way. All right, because you listen to a song and the notes come in, they come, they swing across. The electrostats are doing their thing, and the four balanced armatures are doing their thing, and the dynamics coming in, and it's picking up the mid bass. And if these didn't have the, I'm gonna call it a gimmick. It's not a gimmick. If these didn't have the gimmick of the bone conduction, I would say these are absolutely worth their price. They're like thirteen hundred dollars. They're on sale right now because it's 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 on sale. But these have to be worth it. The issues come up with the bone conduction because if you can't get your bone hard, you don't work. The way it works is there's a diagram of it here on uh, here on uh, this place. Yeah, where did it go? Give me. Oh, I'll just open up a new tab. So here is the diagram of it on Apos, which is who sent this to me. Finally, you can thank Apos for breaking the like four year curse of where the fuck are the mests. So there's your socket. There's your your mids, highs, and acoustic tubes, and electrostats, and there's your dynamic, and there's your bone conduction driver. You see it. You see how it's laid out? It's literally another disc behind the dynamic. Now, a dynamic driver is designed to move air. There it is. There's a dynamic driver there. It does this, and it blows air forward. But in order to do that the best way it possibly can, the dynamic driver needs to be super light. 
so it could just move a little bit of air. That's a, li- that's a 10 millimeters, this big. Move a little bit of air and has to do it fast enough so it can get the low frequencies and do it right. What a bone conducting driver does is stick your fingers in your ears. Right now, you can do this at home. And go, hello, my name is Steve. How are you doing? When you What you hear isn't coming through your ears. What you're hearing is your own voice coming through basically your skull. Through there, through through there. And it's going in through the inside of your ears and you're hearing the sound that way. So what this is doing is that drive, the, the, the regular dynamic driver is doing this to move air. And then the bone conduction driver is doing this not to move air, but to move the whole fucking I am. It's a weight. It's a heavy weight. It doesn't take too much power to drive it, but it's literally physically trying to push the I am with low frequencies. And if you use a foam tip, like I had tried, or other people had advised against, it softens that, because foam foam is a great insulator. So with the Sedna Fits, you, they're really sticky. And while they are still giving a little bit, you want these parts of the IM to touch. So you end up inserting this way up there, Morty, where the, where the cops can't find it, um, where the scanners don't read anymore. And... To test this theory, I put on tips that were slightly smaller than normal, and I took my fingers and I pressed the fuck out of these into my ears so that I knew that it was making good contact. Because if you have a set of these and you've ever tried a set of these and you're like, ah, they're just all right, you do that. So on top of being like a perfectly tuned multi-driver IM that does spectacular work on imaging and sound stage and vocal clarity and just things are happening everywhere, now let's include the fact that it's no longer creating low end via air. It's creating low end via your fucking bones. And once you've got it seated and pushed in and everything's set and you use the right amp, because there's a, once you have that much shit in it, again, amplifiers start to matter again. I went all the way, I was wandering around, hi, with my uh, uh, SG-1 with the custom firmware, because there's gonna be a collaboration on this, by the way, at some point. So they've sent me custom firmware that I'm tuning back and forth. They gotta send me another one. I wanna bring the low end gain up, because the low end is like nothing. So I want to bring the low end to like a medium, and the high gain is gonna be fucking high and cook the battery, I don't care, because the medium should cover it all, I get the volume smooth. Point is, I was using this, and this versus the uh, Shandling, or, or whatever portable I was using, other than this, it's like, oh yeah, this. Like, th- absolutely, you want the bigger, better, warmer sound to push these. So that's why I'm right here on the wall of Topaz. Links to all these amps on the desk, by the way. Let's pull it out of there for a second, and let's go back. I was, I was digging it. I was digging it hard on the topping. So they, if you look at them, it's like, ah, eh, they look all right. But what you don't notice when you look at them, it's like, ah, oh, there's a pattern. All carbon fiber. The whole shell is carbon fiber. It comes with a nice enough box. Like, oh, look, let's open this up. Ooh, it's got a little drawer, just like other things. It's got a padded roof to protect itself. Comes with a with a business card with a serial number that's in a little envelope because that's that's kind of nice, I guess. It's nice, I guess. I really do like the case. Um, let's put these back in my ears because I want to, and we got to seat them. And this is probably the worst part about this review is that I had to unseat them because once you get them right in your head and that bone conduction works, they're the best bass in any IM ever, which is automatically going to make you people go, what? Blues Brothers, no bass in this, but um, Grand Theft Auto, Richard Cheese, The Natural, Yoko Kano, Greenbird, Porgy and Bess. Okay, so now I'm not just talking about like, yo man, let's throw some fucking tunes on and blow it out our ass. No one's ever said that. But like orchestral bass, like that really like, boom. I put 2049 on Blade Runner and it was just like astonishing amounts of like, because it's no longer making bass with sound. It's making bass with feel, which is how subwoofers work. That's, that's relatively high. Porgy and Bass has got some fucking quality to it, man. All right, I'm going to go to my best bass playlist. I'm going to do FKA Twigs, Lights On. You know, that's just like... I actually have an I Love Techno 2013 like download on here. I don't know where the fuck I got it. 
But that came on and I went through the entire six minute song. I don't even like that song, but I was just like, wow, 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 wow. Because on top of, the thing is, if this was a gimmick at like a $300 IM, where it's like, hey, we got bone conduction and the bass is crazy, it's like skull candy, crush your bass, that'd be kind of cool. Now throw a $1,000 IM that's really good at being a $1,000 IM with that, and that's why everyone jerks off to the mess. It does things... I don't even want to say the word cohesively because it doesn't sound cohesive. It sounds fucking wild. It sounds like madness. It's literally just as madness inside of these. I right, hear kill or kill uh, track three from the volume one. I'm not going to try to read the name. It's like that boom, boom. It's like it's that big fucking digital drum. Another thing I notice is that when I reposition them and push them in, if you push it in, the sound stops because it's a sealed chamber. There's no leak out here. So if you force air into the unit, it has to re-equalize again and reset the drivers before they'll work. So you gotta be careful when you're wearing them that you're not pushing them in too hard and damaging anything or pushing them into or pulling them out. You gotta like get them in there, seat them, leave them the fuck alone for five minutes and then turn up your this has sounds that are just like, I mean, what am I, are we gonna compare against the Thy Audio Oracles and stuff? Yeah, these these are as good or better, as good or better at all the things a regular IM can do. And then you add on the absolutely hysterical thing, ooh, Megalobox. You might actually get nauseous from the low end in these. Like I'm, V. McGlenn Burroughs is, Uh, uh, like that just slaps the, the the word is slaps it slaps so fucking hard that it's like that's is probably not good for it's probably not good for your hearing how's that Zeos absolutely recommends this you'll probably go deaf it's doing some shit that's like it shouldn't even blow out your eardrums because air pressure is what does that and this is just literally just like put something against your head and go burr, burr, burr. you don't want to do this camera burr. Burr, 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 burr. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh -huh, mm -hmm, uh -huh, mm -hmm. So, is the hype real? Yes. You just have to find the right amp. That you got to find the amp that gives you like that little bit more. Mm -hmm. You got to get the tips right. Luckily, these Sedna fits I've used in the past. Some people have to use spiral dots, triple flange. You got to find the, the tips that work for these IMs to fit properly in your head before they do the magic thing they do. Or you're gonna be like, all right, they're great IMs, but you know they're not. They're not doing that. They'll do the thing. You can just get some blue tack and cram them into your ears. If they made these, I don't think they do. If they made these in a custom IM, I don't know how that would work. Because then it would literally just be the plastic or the carbon fiber in your head, and no one would have a problem. They'd also probably cost two grand instead of thirteen hundred. So. <sighs> Um, yeah, no, links to these, wallpapers in the horde, patron and subscribe star, help support this channel. You know what? I got to go put these in the, in the box and these definitely go under the holy shit, like mutt category. It's like not a pure planar, not a pure dynamic. This has ever, is there every type of thing in here? Is there anything else we're missing besides a dynamic and electrostat, a balanced armature and a bone conduction? That's four different types. Is there one we're missing? I feel like we're missing one. I feel like we should have another one. Planar, uh, no, that should be it. That should be it. I think that's everything you could possibly have. Luckily, we've been reduced down to just a, just a handful of them. Anyway, um, yeah. Sorry this video is slightly longer than other ones. If it is, I don't know. My internal clock's all fucked up. It's also freezing cold down here. I've got that thing going on. So, uh, bravo to Unique Melody Mess. Thank you to Apos for finally... Finally setting up. Please check the sponsor links, by the way, on top. These videos are sponsored by somebody. And if they're not sponsored by somebody, they're sponsored by you. What Patreon and subscribe star. And keep this channel running and going. And a lot of times IMs will end up in the yard sales, which happen once a month. Um, I should post a video about the yard sale on this channel. You know what? I'll have to do it in the in the 
what's it called to tell people that stuff from this channel is probably in in the other big channel you'll see it you'll see it if you're part of this channel you should probably be subscribed to z reviews if you're part of z reviews if you're interested in i am you should probably be subscribed to this channel um so yeah i'm done the wires a slight disappointment because of a 2.5 millimeter but everything else i ran the i ran the mm, mm, uh so yeah fuck him fuck it all right yeah i agree all right master great what do you want from me so now i'm going to adjust my my expectations of other ims and continue this channel along so shut up now shut up now i did the mess